The Left Plan 2 board is often asked how Left Plan 2 compares to other plans. The question is not as simple as it might seem. It can be difficult to get an apples to apples comparison. Different plans have different calculation formulas with different variables. With so many plan variations, it can soon get complicated. The Washington State Institute of Public Policy compared Left Plan 2 to 42 other statewide public safety plans. They ranked the plans based on salary replacement. Using that metric, New Mexico ranked number one, with Left Plan 2 in the bottom third, 31 out of 43. But measuring income replacement doesn't account for differences in salary. A high replacement ratio for a lower salary is still a lower benefit. New Mexico uses a 3% multiplier, which accounts for the high measure of income replacement, higher than Left Plan 2, which uses a 2% multiplier. So New Mexico must have a higher benefit, right? Well, New Mexico has lower salaries, so even with a 3% multiplier, a career in Washington State gives you a higher pension than the same career in New Mexico. The Left Plan 2 board decided to build on the earlier study, but this time to compare plans using a different metric. So how do you compare different pensions? You can either compare how the pension benefit is calculated or what pension benefit you end up with. Comparing calculations doesn't really compare pensions. If a retiree from jurisdiction A gets a $60,000 pension and a retiree from jurisdiction B gets a $60,000 pension, whose pension is better? The real question is, how does the amount of your pension compare to pensions earned in other jurisdictions? That's what the Left Plan 2 board looked at when it compared Left Plan 2 to 160 retirement systems from all 50 states. And here's what we found. Left Plan 2 members have the third highest average final salary with the 29th highest total pension. What we found is that Left Plan 2 provides a solid, competitive pension. Beyond the benefit comparisons, there are a couple more relevant questions. First, how much are you paying? Remember the plan with the 3% multiplier? The employee contribution rate is nearly twice what you're paying for Left Plan 2. That's a real impact to your take-home pay. Second, how well-funded is it? Now, why should you care about funding? Isn't that an employer issue? Well, the Great Recession showed us all how that issue can come home to roost with both employers and employees. Underfunded plans got hammered, raising contribution rates and lowering benefits. A city that may surprise you is telling police to pay up to help balance the books. City Council voted to cut pension benefits for its police force. They are in the situation they are in uh, because they have irresponsibly kicked the can down the road for decades. Uh, I think as good a deal as we're going to see. And again, saying that we, we understand that there is a need for some reform. That didn't happen in Left Plan 2. The board is responsible for Left Plan 2 funding, setting contribution rates and monitoring the fund's health. Under the board's stewardship, Left Plan 2 has become the best funded plan in the nation with a 107% funded ratio or $1.07 in assets for every dollar in liabilities. That is much better than the national average of 73%. And remember those 28 plans with a higher benefit than Left Plan 2? Well, they have an average funded ratio of 69%. A promise of a great pension is weakened if there isn't enough money in the trust fund to back it up. If you hear that Left Plan 2 is one of the worst plans in the country, don't believe it. Left Plan 2 values your service. The plan provides a valuable, secure pension. You keep doing your part, and we'll keep doing ours.